Hey guys, it's Miss Danielle from the Boys and Girls Club in Shawsville. I hope you all are doing well during this social distancing time. But I wanted to hop on here today to talk to you guys about the mindfulness that I've been practicing, especially during this crazy time, to help center me and keep my mind in the right place. So I'm going to talk first a little bit about how I got introduced to mindfulness. So I actually had to take a class in college about mindfulness and I had to buy this book called Mindfulness for Beginners and I had to read a little section of it every day. It really doesn't have that big of sections, it's like maybe a page a day that I would have to read. But mindfulness really just helps you come back to center and realize that no moment is forever and nothing that is forever is change and the only thing that's constant is change so that's a good thing to keep in mind during this time I know that the days can be long and it's crazy to think that we've been out of school already for a month and a half so I hope that this helps you as much as it has helped me during this time and I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about what you mindfulness and what you can use to help you so first I want to talk about just breathing because the first thing that I remember about my experience in my mindfulness class was using your breath as a base. So when you take in a breath, where do you feel it? Do you feel it coming in through your chest? Do you feel it coming through in from your stomach, your stomach expanding and getting smaller do you feel your chest expanding or getting smaller or do you just feel it um, maybe you feel it on your lip maybe you feel it underneath your lip or something maybe you just feel it in your nose they are going in and out of your nose so that's what I want you to begin to practice is just taking a deep breath in and out and feeling where you feel that and maybe do that for a minute try a minute at the in the beginning and then maybe you can add your time up and just focus on that breath and it helps to bring you back to your center it helps to reset you and help you think clearer and ready to move on to the next maybe subject that you have for school or maybe you're having a fight with your sibling and it'll help you recenter and maybe think a little clearer so what I'm gonna go to on next is hearing so a good way to, another good way to kind of meditate during this time is closing your eyes and just listening to what you hear. You could start by focusing on your breath and feeling the in and out of the air and then you can maybe stop that and just well, continue to breathe but now switch your focus to your ears and what you are hearing around. Maybe you're inside of your house, maybe you hear your siblings playing, maybe you hear people on the phone, or maybe you hear birds outside. So I want you to think about that and how that sounds to you. Maybe if you hear your siblings playing, maybe you think, wow, that sounds like they're having a really good time, and let the thought go. You, the whole thing with mindfulness is, is that you let things come into your awareness, so you're letting this outside noise come into your awareness. You are hearing it in your ear but you need to make sure that you can let it go. So a good visual for that is dropping a leaf in a creek, or if you lay on your back and look up at the sky and see the clouds blowing by, right? So you want to drop it as soon as it comes and you're kind of, you're just listening. You are just in awareness of what is happening around you. So I want you to keep that in mind as we go through all of these senses of mindfulness. Another way that you can practice mindfulness is walking outside. So this can be done by, you're just going to walk, but you're going to have two words that mean something to you. So let's say your left leg is love and your right leg is compassion. So every time your left leg touches, the, or your left foot touches the ground, you're going to say love. And the, anytime you're right leg touches the ground you're going to say compassion so you don't want to be running at this time you want to be slow and aware of what you're doing 
so your foot's gonna touch the ground softly and slowly. So you want to really think about that word and feel what does that word mean to you? So love, you wanna step slowly and think about what that word means. Compassion, what does that mean to you? Think about what that means as your foot is touching the ground. When you are saying these words for the outside walking or inside, you don't have to say them out loud. You can just say them in your head. So you don't have to be yelling, love, compassion, love, compassion, or whichever words that you choose. You can just know in your head you're saying love, compassion, love, compassion, right? You can practice this inside or outside. So you could even practice it maybe around your house or inside of your house. You can practice this um, walking practice of mindfulness. Mindfulness, there's another thing that you could do for mindfulness that has also been very helpful. So you have five fingers, right? And every time you breathe in and out, you take a finger of the opposite hand. So you're going to do this. Every time you breathe in, you're going to go up your pinky. And then when you breathe out, you're going to come back down to the center of your hand. When you breathe in, you're going to go to the center of your palm again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. So this is a little bit easier for you to do at any point in time. So you could do this in class maybe next year. You can do this at the dinner table. You can do this while you're doing homework. It's something that's a little bit easier to be done with mindfulness. So I hope that you guys find this helpful. So to recap, there are many ways that you can incorporate mindfulness into your daily life. You can just stop and maybe go to a special place that you have in your house. Maybe that's the bathroom where you can be alone and you can take up 10 seconds, a minute, maybe five minutes to just do some deep inhales and that will help recenter you. Or maybe you need to go outside and do some mindfulness walking. That can help you as well, recenter you and bring you back and make you a little bit more positive and help to refresh your brain. This helped you in some way, shape, or form and I will see you soon.